following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to uh, Robert in New Jersey. Hey, Robert, what's going on? Hey, Tom. A great show. Thank I've you so to much. You for years. You got a great thing. I've been uh, listening to you for over a decade. It's oh, amazing. Yeah. You've done a great job. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Believe in the magic of tomorrow and your spirits will be lifted on the wings of hope. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 225, NASDAQ off 86, SP's off 37, gold contract down $8.10, trading at 1,124 an ounce. Silver down 46 cents at $14.76 an ounce. Platinum down 33 at 936 an ounce. Copper down nine pennies at 230 a pound. Light sweet crude down 70 cents at $46.26 a barrel. Bonds, 10 year. Up 22 ticks, 128.02, 30, up two points and five ticks, 155.22. Both the 10 and the 30 folks are going after their highs. This market, S&Ps are going lower, bonds are on higher price, and I mean ASAP. King dollar, King dollar up 406 ticks, 96.44. The euro is down 56 at 111, and the yen is off a half a penny at 120.07. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We bring up the SPY. We'll start with the SPY. This is what you have happening, folks. SPY right now is trading out at 193.28. You've done 106 million shares. Bottom line, next stop is 190.73. That's your swing point from the 1st of September. Uh, that's down, uh, what, that's only a couple more dollars. We're down 319. Um, you'll, you'll, we'll jump down at that level probably tomorrow. NDX 100, we take a look at the three Qs. What do you have with the three Qs? Three Qs are trading at a price point of 103.71. Three Qs thus far have done uh, 37 million shares. Um, we are at the 103.70 area. 100.61 is the next level there. That's the swing low that was generated out here on the 1st of September. Uh, as we get into this close out here, you're going to see, um, I suspect we're going to see quite a bit of selling. Uh, why? Well, here, let's go just look at the uh, S&Ps first. When we take a look at the S&Ps, we'll put this on the, uh, the futures we're talking right now. And what we have is this, is that you have... European markets that were down big time. We're not even down compared to where European markets were, folks. Um, you had uh, two or three kitty bounces, as our man, let Mr. Larry Pesavento would say, uh, not even dead cat bounces. The low on the S&P out here today is uh, 1917. We're at 1925. This is going to make a run for the lows. I expect it's actually going to break the lows. We'll probably be down about 54 points. And right now, you're at 38, okay? Um, you know, we'll see what happens next 50 minutes, but that's the way this thing looks to be shaken out. Percentage-wise out here, this is where we stand. The Dow Industrials right now is down 1.4%. Uh, is down 1.4 percent. s and is 1.6. NASDAQ is 1.8. Europe finished at their lows with juice behind the move, folks. You had Paris down 3.4. The DAX was off 3.8. The FTSE was down 2.8. Bottom line, lower prices are coming at us. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract today. We're trading at 11.24 right now. We take a look at this baby. And what we have, she's backing down with much lighter volume. And this looks like a small ABC structure. And this is what you have. So gold today reached 11.20. We're at 11.2470 right now. Uh, you're down $8.10. 
We've done volume of 106,000 contracts and you're going into 144,000. That was just from last week. We also have that high volume swing point out there from the 24th of August where it wants to get into. When you take this correlation, it looks to me like we got uh, bottom line small ABC structure up that's going to run into this 1169 area. Silver, now here, this, this is, <laughs> silver so deviant, man, it's wicked. So silver, silver is backing down with volume. Um, divergence, no doubt. Silver contract today, you, you've done 43,000 contracts. That being said, that it's backing down with volume, it's still lighter volume than it was going into. It's going into 58,000 contracts from how it came off the bottom on the 27th of August. That low, that high of the low is $14.58. We hit $14.69 today. We're at $14.76 right now. Bonds. This is the cool. Bonds, folks, have given the most consistent information in the marketplace for a long period of time now. So, 10-year bond right now, what are, where we stand? You're up 23 ticks. You've done 867,000 contracts. You're over the, the range that we've been trading in since going back to the 28th of August. Uh, bottom line, this bond market is going to make a run. It looks like it's going to make a run tomorrow for the highs. 129.10. When we hit 129.10 on the 24th of August, folks, that was a spike high. That's the 10-year. We take a look at the 30-year. What we have inside the 30-year is this. 30-year is up in 202,000 contracts. Bottom line, you're pushing into these swing points um, with decent volume. Not huge volume, but decent volume. That's saying the 30-year also is going to make a run for the highs that were generated out here on the 25th of August, that's 158 to 161. Big numbers, uh, no doubt. King Dollar, what do we have with King Dollar? Okay, so here you go, King Dollar. What King Dollar is doing, King Dollar is going into its downdraft from September 5th, uh, September 9th rather, September 10th. The high of that area is 96.43, we've hit 96.58. 56,000 contracts, you're at 29,000. Bottom line, you're going to see King Dollar just can't handle higher price. It very well might go for the swing point, which is not the swing, by the way, uh, the, the largest swing. The largest swing in King Dollar is 98.74. Uh, King Dollar uh, had a really tough time uh, just getting up to the minus swing of 97.40, and that was trying to do that since August 24th. It got to 96.92, gave it up. Bottom line, Dollar wants lower price, metals want higher price, market wants lower price. Um, today, folks, if you happen to like the metals market, want to be in the metals market, today's the 700th edition of the Gold Report. We have a special that's going on. It's over at the end of trading today. Uh, you can check it out. You can test drive it for a month. There's five active equities in there that you could be trading right now. The, you can test drive it for a month. If you decide that you, you want it, you'll save 20% off on a monthly basis. Uh, for as long as you have it. Platinum. Let's go to the platinum. I'm going to talk about platinum when we come back because I was in the market out here today trying to get platinum. And I just was really curious, like, what could you get platinum at? Well, guess what? Platinum's at 936, folks. You can't buy a platinum co coin for less than, uh, let's see, put, throw a buck and a half on that. That's 1036. That's uh, 1086. And you won't get them for eight weeks if you're lucky. We'll be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you It was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is uh, down uh, 235. You get the NASDAQ off uh, 87. S&Ps are down uh, 37. If we take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside these indices, this is what you have, folks. Inside the Dow Industrials, there's only one stock that's positive. That's uh, DuPont. That's up 40 cents. Johnson & Johnson would be a leader. That's down 19. You get GE down 5, and Walmart is down 15. Those are the four best stocks inside the Dow Industrials. The losers, you get United Technologies down 368, Goldman's down uh, 446, you get Intel off 59, and Apple is down at $2.40. Inside the NDX 100, strength versus the weakness, you have uh, Adobe is the leader inside the NDX 100, that's up $1.22. Dollar Tree is second, down 76 cents, and Dollar Tree uh, is just a dead cat bounce. Dollar Tree had just gone from... $85 was down to 65 Right now, it's at 68 the, um, the third leader inside the NDX is Gilead. That's up $0.51. Cents, and Biogen is up $1.30. Taken away from it on the way down is uh, Western Digital. That's down $4.77. You get Staples down $0.82. Cents, and Seagate Technology is off $2.66. Um, if we go over and you take a look at, uh, you know, the, the benchmark that you want to be watching out here closely is the August 24th benchmark, folks, um, STX. And if you take a look at these, so Seagate is not only going after it, it's blowing it away. You, you know, Seagate, you know, 
bottom line, come down from 60 bucks. First leg down July, took it to 44. You had a nice bounce up to 52. August 24th, you get to 45, 63, and we're taking that out. We're not only taking that out, uh, you're taking out the last low and the high volume low of uh, 44, 46. That was generated on the 13th of July. What that ends up setting up, now that there's lighter volume as you're taking that baby out um, on the daily basis, uh, but what you're gonna see is that this baby is gonna be running all the way down to $37.83. That's the last time it had any volume on the way up. That brings you back to the uh, 2013 area. That's how this thing is shaken out. And it's, that's, that's no doubt uh, a, a decent size hit. If we go take a look at the uh, WDC, WDC out here, WDC, okay, so Western Digital uh, blowing away its October, tw I mean it's uh, August uh, 24th swing level and uh, that was 74.63. Right now, this is down uh, four and a half dollars. Uh, oh, this is, a, this is a real mess. So check this one out, man. Whoa, baby. So Western Digital had a high that was generated out there, 114 bucks. You come off the high with volume. The first place it has any uh, type of support is like $42. And this is gonna be a problem for many equities, folks, of, because of the way they went up. Western Digital was on a straight ride up. The straight ride right up started in November of 2012. It went from $33 straight up to 103 without a break. Uh, October of 2014, it comes down lower. That was our benchmark, had volume, 50 million shares. Guess what, when it came off the highs, it came off the highs with 66 million. So it not only went down into the 2014 area, it took the 2014 area out and took it out with some heavy volume. That's curtains. Um, inside some of the Dow stocks, a lot of Dow stocks, uh, you get some damage happening out here. We have the uh, good old Big Blue is trading. One second here. We got a little electric hit when we were at commercial there, folks, but we're doing good. Okay, Big Blue is down uh, 264. You got Honeywell off 214. 3M is down 252. Uh, Coke is down 46. Disney's uh, down a buck 27. Oil. Let's go to the oil market. Um, oil. So don't touch this oil market, folks, okay? CLX. Oil. Oil's trading out down 66 cents. 46 dollars and 32 cents. You've done 322,000 contracts. This is interesting, actually. Not a bad setup. Yeah, this this setup here actually is saying that, you know, it, they try to get it down on price today, but when you look at this correlation, yesterday we did that 344,000. Yeah, it's still too many. Okay, it, we're too close. So yesterday you did 344,000 contracts. Today you can't. You're coming in. You're gonna. We're at 322 already. That's that's too many. You know, it rejected lower price right now, but that's way too many contracts coming into a low that was generated that had an expansion of volume. If we go over and take a look at the XLE, what you're gonna see with the XLE, that's down 74 cents, you're at 62.71, and that's saying that we're gonna go into the bar from the 24th. It's a big number. Chevron, CVX, uh, of course, uh, CVX and ExxonMobil, those are the high flyers, high weighted structures inside those vehicles, and what we have right now with uh, CVX, uh, is this, is that CVX is trading out at uh, 77.01, down a buck eight. 75.38 is game, so isn't 73.10. 73.10 is game, so it's gonna be a patience game here if you're looking to get uh, inside the, some of those big oil stocks, folks. Just be patient, stay right there, and uh, don't bite just yet. Um, we go take a look at the small caps, the IWM. Uh, what, you, what you're going to see inside the IWM is the IWM is getting deep into the August 24th bar. The top of that bar is 114.91. 
We're at 113.55 right now. That's saying that, you know, just so you understand, the deeper you get into a bar, the more probability that you go to the bottom of that bar. So the IWM is, is getting to it pretty good right now. If we go over and you look at Europe, Europe is screaming that uh, we, oh, there we go. Sorry about that here. Let me put the charts back up. I got it. Okay. I, here, we'll get it up right now. Thank you. When we took that hit, they come off. There you go. Okay, so if we go take a look at Europe, what you're going to see is this. The DAX in Germany, no relief whatsoever. The DAX closed down 377 points, 95.70. The low is 93.38. That baby's going to go after the low tomorrow. This is going to be like a shocker. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. You're coming right back. Dow is down 218. NASDAQ's down 83. S&Ps are off 36. We're going to be right back. This coming Tuesday, September 22nd, Tom O'Brien will publish the 700th issue of his weekly newsletter, The Gold Report. It's amazing to think that Tom started his newsletter over 13 years ago when gold was trading under $300 an ounce. To celebrate the 700th issue, you can sign up right now at a 20% savings off the regular monthly price, and you can lock in that low rate for as long as you remain a subscriber. The Gold Report is Tom's weekly newsletter covering the gold market as well as a variety of gold mining equities. The Gold Report is published every Tuesday afternoon with a market update sent out to subscribers on Monday mornings. Tom will walk you through what's going on in the gold and metals market each week, as well as providing specific buy and sell recommendation on the mining equities themselves. Now is the perfect time to sign up for the Gold Report. The 700th issue is published Tuesday, and that's when this sale ends, so act now. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge for daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now uh, down to 197. You get the NASDAQ up 75. S&Ps are off uh, 32. Let's go to Frank in Gloucester. Hey, Frank, what's going on? Hey, how are you, Tom? Doing great, man. Having a good day? Fantastic. That's a, that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I woke up to a good day this morning. And I listen. The I, open. <laughs> I heard you on Larry's show this morning. Oh, did you? Uh, I did. Again. That was a beautiful thing. <laughs> hey, uh, so my afternoon is uh, LNG. I'm short. And it looks Good like it's going to bounce here. It's hitting this uh, 50, 60 big volume swing low. Okay, let's take bounce. a look. Yep. Uh, LNG, folks, uh, is Chenier Energy. Uh, this is uh, they develop, uh, operate 
Um, what they're going to try to do is basically uh, push LNG uh, terminals, uh, well, in ships overseas. Uh, the low is 49.80. That's today. The high is 84.25. Um, you have a couple monster hedge funds fighting each other with Frank right in the middle of them on the right side <laughs> of this trade. <laughs> um, okay, so let's bring this back. Okay, so you're 50.58, which is which is great. You know, you're below September. You you, at, you the volume's contracted, but you know, yeah. guess what? If this can't close above 50.60, man. This thing's going, uh... Still with it. Oh, yeah, stay with it, man. Stay okay. with it. Yeah, right. this is one of these deals. Now, and all, the whole market's like this, too. I mean, the yeah. bottom line is that who's going to step in the middle of this? I mean, this this equity here can trade down to $14.79. So, right, right. Okay. Well, you know, that's why I'm asking. I see more than one of these, but this is mine. No, you, you got it. Stay right, stay right there, man. Okay, thanks, doctor. Have a great one, man. Yep. Have a safe right. one. The... Uh, you get two hedge funds fighting like that. What, uh, let's see, I forgot the one. Uh, I, I think it's Icon that's uh, positive in it, and uh, Jim Chanos uh, is negative in it. I believe that's that's how that setup is. Um, coming into this uh, closeout here, what you're going to see, folks, is that, uh, well, hey, let's go to the XLF next, okay? So the XLE, that's not a buy yet. XLF um, has some serious business happening. Um, the, high, the low of the 25th, is $22.25. We got down today to $22.46. I suspect, guess what? That's going to make a run for that uh, lower level tomorrow at uh, $22.25. If you want to hear something really bizarre, so check this out. This is, this is a trip, folks, how this works. So when we talk bonds, right, um, you know, you have bonds, and then anything that trades less than two years in the Treasury, you call them notes. Well, well and then something that trades at 30 days or less are called bills, okay? So check this out. Our treasury does not sell anything at less than zero. So you don't go into a negative rate, okay? But check out what's happening. Is that they still sell these bills and they'll sell them at zero. But the market is pricing in okay, a negative rate. And the reason the market's pricing in a negative rate is this, is that large corporations that have to park money overnight or for two or three weeks, they don't want to basically park money inside banks with dollars, okay, because it, it's something's implosion. They'd rather park it in treasuries. So what is happening, and it has been happening since, uh, let me see, since August, this is like, I was reading about this last night, but you know, it's, it's, it's a great way. The Treasury wants to avoid selling bills with negative yields. So it's essentially offering a chance for quick profit. That's because four-year bills are trading at such a high premium that their market implied yield is below zero, but the Treasury won't reflect that and they sell them when they're selling them flat, okay? Um, bottom line, let's see, where is it? Oh, here it is, okay. There have been We've been in negative yields now since September 16th. Uh, yeah, September 16th. So how many days is that? Let's see. Not bad. It's 22, uh, seven days. Not bad if you're trading, right? You know, now you and I wouldn't be trading in those, but those big banks are trading in those for sure. Do you know what I mean? So uh, it's pretty intense. Let's go over and we'd say, uh, we take a look at the E-minis. E-minis got a nice bounce going right now. ESZ. Okay, so we're down 30 bucks right now at 19.33. The baby's been as low as 19.17. And uh, the last bounce got us up to 19.36.70. You know, we'll see uh, how we get into that level. Uh, we'll go take a look at the NQs. And the volatility is, is here in spades, folks. It's here all over the place, too. Uh, the NQs are down 77 right now at... 4264. And that last bounce got us up to uh, the bounce this morning got us up to 4273. You know, so we'll see how that baby shakes out. If you go look at the end, we use the three Q's as a barometer. What you have with the three Q's, uh, this bar here, we're, do, we're doing uh, 
922,000 shares. You're going to need a lot more than that because we did 2 million shares. Well, that's not bad. Um, you're still, it's still going to be less than what you need at the 104.42 because we did 2 million shares and there's only four minutes left in that 10-minute bar. We take a look at the, the SPY and do that correlation inside the SPY. This is what you have inside the SPY. The SPY is down a buck and a half. Oh, no, one second. That's the Q's. SPY is down 237, and, and uh, that, right there, that is coming into, needs 3.5 million, and right now you're at uh, 3.1. So the SPY, the SPY could actually uh, get the juice going in it. Uh, we'll see how that uh, does shake out. Dow right now is down 171. You get the NASDAQ off 69. S&Ps uh, are down 30. And if you uh, haven't uh, traded the Nadex platform yet, folks, great time to check it out. At the, just come over to our website, at TFNN. You can bring up the platform. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. And this would be a great time to do it because in this bounce right here, you can use that paper money. To see how those contracts trade and sell the heck out of this thing. Because what you're going to see is that um, on highly volatile markets, folks, what ends up happening is that you get these bounces, they're dynamite bounces, you wait for the intraday deal to retest itself, and what we're doing right now is that we're retesting the bounce from this morning. And that bounce from this morning, if we go back into the S&Ps, uh, is laid out uh, at uh, the 36 level. We're at 1933.75 right now. It's the 36 level and there's some uh, juice right there. So you'll see how those short-term contracts work. Um, and bottom line is that it's a, it's a time-sensitive contract uh, and <laughs> uh, it's a defined risk. That's what does make it so cool. Some of the uh, high-volume stocks in this market right now you have Bank of America down 15 cents. Uh, Monaghan did win the CEO uh, plus the presidency. There was a vote that was going on there. You get uh, Freeport Mac Moran up 10 cents. Sprint is f down seven. Facebook's off 257. Let's go look at Facebook because Facebook has been holding up in this market in a big way. Okay, so Facebook, uh, that's an, oh, this is a classic with Facebook. This is interesting. So when Facebook came down on the 20th, ICE is 9477. They couldn't hold it. Um, Facebook's at 9291. She's got a small expansion of volume. She's going to be running down to this 9105 level. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow Industrials down 178. NASDAQ off 71. S&P's down 31. We're going to break back. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now you can get a two week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS as proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. 
For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. So you get the Dow uh, 165, NASDAQ off 68, SPs are down uh, 29. And, uh, you know, uh, they just celebrated the uh, first anniversary of uh, Alibaba uh, going public, folks. And uh, if you take a look at this equity, it's pretty wild watching, you know, how, number one, it traded and um, <laughs> how it just can't handle a price. You know, Alibaba had a high of 117. You're at 62.05 right now. You're coming into the lows. Uh, the low of August uh, 24th was 58. You're at 62 right now. You've already, well, 60.25 is going to be the next stop. Um, you know, I suspect we're going to break it. Uh, why? Because what you also have is that the lockup um, is out. And specifically what that lockup means is that I believe they have eight times the amount of stock. One second. So the shares... The float right now is 2.5 billion out there. Um, and compared to what they did on the IPO, the amount of shares that uh, can be sold right now are huge, absolutely huge. Uh, we go over and we take a look at uh, good old Apple. Uh, Apple, sideways move out here today on Apple, but what you're going to see is that you're fading away on these equities. And what that specifically means is that if you take a horseshoe and put the horseshoe upside down, that's what the, a lot of these equities are doing. And what I've seen many times is that when you get about a quarter way down on the right-hand side of that horseshoe, that's when things get problematic. I expect Apple right now is trading at 113.26. Um, the 111.87 uh, area, you start, I suspect that'll try to get into that tomorrow. Why? Because the, the top of that trading day is 114.13, and it can't handle it. Uh, that's when I expect you're going to see more of an acceleration uh, into lower prices. Uh, volume out here today inside the indices, inside the NYSE, we're going to do about a billion shares, probably 900 million. Inside the NASDAQ, you're going to be running... Uh, you're going to be running $2 billion inside the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ ran $2 billion yesterday. We're going to run another $2 billion out here. Uh, the composite itself... What you have with the composite? The composite, right now, you gapped away in the composite. I expect you're going to gap away again tomorrow. Here, I'll show you this, how this is set up right now. This is pretty cool how this is set up. So the composite closed at 42.82 yesterday. We open at 42, no, we closed yesterday at 47, no, 48.28, 48.28. Today we open at 47.62. I expect what you're gonna you're gonna open somewhere down into the 46.57, somewhere around that level tomorrow. Uh, what all the indices have done, folks, is this: all the indices have broken the smaller uptrend that has been in place since the high volume spike low on August 24th. 
And it's right across. So when you break something like that, what it sets up is this. It sets up a run back down to the bottom of that level. And I'm using the lows of the 25th versus the 24th, just because the 25th, we know we had trading all day long. They actually traded to that bottom and it did it quite a bit. Uh, ISRG, Intuitive Surgical, that's down uh, 11, well, $12 right now. That's trading right into the same bar. And these, these are heads ups that, that were going after this bar. So Intuitive Surgical had gone from a price point of 564, and this is a wicked volatile stock, by the way, uh, down August 24th, it got into 475. The high was 500, low was 475. It did 493 million, uh, 493,000 shares. Well, we're trading at 492 right now. So that's gonna go after the 475, and you get volume behind the move. You're at uh, 437. That'll do about 450. Um, that, I suspect that's gonna chase after that low tomorrow. Uh, we're Tuesday in the week. Uh, bottom line is that I don't expect you're gonna see Asia go higher. Why? Because if we go over to Asia, we take a look at what happened to Asia last night. Um, Shanghai was flat, uh, but the, the Nikkei, uh, Nikkei, well actually, let me just check. I think the Nikkei was actually closed last night. because so I think there's some kind of a holiday. Yeah, the Nikkei was closed last night. So oh, this is gonna get interesting then. The Nikkei is gonna go after its lows tonight. So the Nikkei, folks, had closed the prior night at 13,120. We might, well, this is gonna be a wild night. Get to sleep before uh, midnight here, folks, because you're gonna to wanna to know what's going on. So we're at 13,120. This thing can go right down to 12,700 in about a heartbeat. In fact, I think it's gonna make a run after that. Now that's the August 25th low. Um, it looks like it's gonna make a run after that. Tonight, um, of course, the FTSE uh, in London, the DAX, you can, all of them, they all closed at their lows out here today. Um, their markets were a lot worse than our markets. There's no doubt about that, you know, uh, percentage-wise, we're hardly down anything compared to what they were down. We'll catch up. We'll catch up with that market. That's, that's the bottom line. This, uh, this market is a market that not only wants to trade lower, all the surprises are gonna come down to the downside uh, in this market. We go over to the uh, XAU, the HUI, uh, what you have with the XAU, XAU right now trading at uh, 45.36. Um, what we do want to see is that we want to see a rejection of 45.15. We haven't hit it yet, but uh, that's the rejection that you want to see. That level uh, was one of the swing highs of the swing low on August 26th, as well as how we come off the bottom on September 11th. We go look at the Gold Bugs Index. Uh, gold bugs index is at 106.41, and uh, I'd like to see a, actually a rejection of 107.84. Um, you know, if you do have an interest in uh, gold coins or silver coins, um, EverBank has a great deal right now, folks. Uh, it's the from the Canadian Mint. They're called the Five Blessings. Uh, they're pure bullion, gold and silver. Uh, you can call 855-750-4051. That's 855. 7504051 and for gold they want $75 over spot and silver $7 over spot and if you buy in bulk you get a better deal than that you can check it out uh um 855 um, I went out today in the platinum market okay yeah, so check this out platinum's down $33 and I've seen this happen before and so the paper market meaning the trading market is saying 937 well, guess what? You can't get platinum. You can't get a platinum cone at 937. Um, I got a price 150 over the 937. Plus, you wouldn't get the coin from six to eight weeks. Plus, you might not even get the coin. So, um, why do I bring it up? I bring it up for the for the aspect that uh, it's pretty wild watching what the paper market actually trades for uh, versus what you can actually get your hands on something, you know. I didn't go over the mint yet. You know, last time this has happened um, is that the mint themselves had a decent deal because at least you could get the coins and depend on, on that you, you would get the coins. I believe the premium was just as much and I suspect if, in fact, I'll go over, I'm gonna go over that at four o'clock. Uh, but I expect it's going to be a lot more than, uh, than that because no one's going to sell platinum 
um, at 9.30 or 10.30 or even 1100 probably. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Down right now. Down 186. NASDAQ's off 74. S&P's are down 32. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is uh, down 195. Nasdaq's up 77. S&P's are down 32. And uh, this, is, this is like wild, folks. Okay, so check this out. At certain points in the marketplace, you know, highs and lows, um, you, you take a look at this tick reading and the trend reading. Well, what just happened out here today uh, at 3.30 is that we just hit a plus 13.33 tick reading. Okay, so now watch what this means. We're not even close to a bottom, by the way. Uh, but this is, this is what is giving you more probability that that's not it. You don't get a plus 13.33 tick reading when you are close to a bottom. After, and this is what ends up happening. What you have there, let's go back over here. I'll show you what ha what ha how technically this is set up, which is really cool. Okay, so at 13.30, which you set this up here, 13.30, um, that's the bounce that we just had. Okay, the S&Ps just went from uh, 1922 uh, up to 1935. So it's a, it's a monster move, okay? Bottom line, though, people bought into it. When you buy into it, what that does is that that just builds cause for lower price. Because what happens is that when you actually get a bottom in, 
the you don't get zero fear because that, that a tick reading like that that's a zero fear type of deal that's how that thing sh shakes out so it's going to be wild watching this whole thing uh, shake down the next few days we take a look at the um the, the trend was reading higher this morning right now you're, you're at uh, 1.86 1.86 is no big deal uh when you're at one folks it means that the same amount of stocks are getting sold uh this morning we're at a 3.25 and what a 3.25 means is that the same stocks are getting sold down. So when you reach bottoms, what happens is this, is that the trend will run up to about a 4.5, 5.58, okay? It gets outrageous. And what that specifically means is that as you're hitting lows, all the equities that are being sold are the exact same equities. You know, when I'm at Kevin Hinks uh, on Tuesdays, he does the uh, Think or Swim option show. And he runs through, and, you, and, on, and on, by the way, if you haven't test drove Think or Swim, go do it, okay? Because it's an outstanding um, platform to trade off of, um, whether you're on a computer or on your phone. Like the, the, their phone app is the best, man. It blows my mind, actually, how good it is. Uh, but it's awesome. But anyway, inside that platform and on that platform, and that's one of the biggest retail places there are, um, bottom line, it tells you the most owned stocks inside of that whole deal. Um, that being said, what ends up happening is that uh, as this buying and selling going on, um, you know, that type of lopsided view um, as you're moving down is important to, to gauge, okay? Uh, because what would end up happening there is that the largest owned stocks, uh, you know, end up being Apple, end up being Disney. Uh, and when you hit a bottom, everyone is dumping the same stock at the same time. That's how that trend reading gets so high. It's not that there's selling going on, it's that there's selling going on at the same stock at the same time. When that trend reading tops highs, what you have is that everyone's buying the same stock at the same time. That, you know, that's when the trend reading, in fact, uh, this last high here, that trend reading came down to a 0.32, and I, I suspect well, I believe what Dick Arm said, he said he hadn't seen a trend reading that light um, in years, if in fact he has seen it at all. Um, we go take a look at the, coming into it, uh, you're at 729 on the NYSE, 729, and you're at 1.8 billion on the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ's going to come in over a billion shares. The NYSE is going to come in about uh, 800, 900 million. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials down 174. You get the NASDAQ off 70. S&Ps are down 30. We're going to be right back. following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to Sam in Irvine, California. Hey, Sam, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? I am having a great day. Thank you very much. I want to preface by saying that I'm so grateful to you and TFNN for you to assemble such a great people, such a team to help the small investors like myself. Well, we appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us, Sam. Thank you so much. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. I start with the idea that nothing is impossible and everything can be done in the end. How cool is that? Mug it was! Let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials closed down 179, NASDAQ off 72, S&B's down 29, gold contract down $8.60, trading at 1,124 an ounce. Silver down 43 cents at $14.78 an ounce. Platinum 
down 34 bucks at 9.36 an ounce. Copper down eight pennies at 2.30 a pound. Light sweet crude off 72 cents, 46 dollars and 24 cents a barrel. Bonds 10 year up 19 ticks, 127.31. 30 year up two points, 155.12. Both the 10 and the 30 folks want to go after their highs. I expect you're going to see that in the next few days. Well, the 10 and the next couple days, the 30 has quite a way to go because when the 30 spiked in August, uh, bottom line is that it still had further to go for the April highs. King dollar. King dollar up 436 ticks, 96.47. The euro down 61 at a buck 11. And the yen at 120.09. Our phone number is 877 877- 9276648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the SPs, let's take a look. And when we take a look at the SPY, this is what you have. SPY right now trading at 193.90. You had volume out here today of 139 million. Yesterday, bottom line, you try to get higher at 105 million. You can see the correlation. Do another 34 million on the way down. Uh, your next swing point that this is going after, and I expect you're going to see it go after it tomorrow, is this. You have the swing that was established on the 4th, which is 192.59. You also have the largest swing, that's where I expect we're going to go, is the 191.77. Uh, that level there was the low that was established on the 1st of September. We'll see how it gets into that swing, and I expect what you're going to see is that you are going to gap away once again on the way down. The Qs, the NDX 100. What do you have with the NDX 100? That's trading out at 104.33. Also had an expansion of volume. Did 44 million shares, trying to get higher yesterday with 35 million. You are at the 104.13 area. This wants to run into the 100.63 area. You have the same, the, the, you have the two separate swings. The, the lowest, the smallest swing is 102.16. I suspect we're going to go after the, the larger one, which is laid out here on the 1st of September. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contracts trading out at a price point of 11.2460. What gold did out here today is it rejected lower price, had lighter volume. We got down to a price point of 11.20. You're at 11.24. Gold did 108,000 contracts. You're going against the sign of strength from the 16th of September, we had 131,000 contracts. 17th, 144,000 contracts. Last swing point, 152,000. You pull back at 108. That's the first part. Second part where this wants to go to, this looks like a small ABC up that wants to get into the highs that were generated out here on the 24th of August, which is 1169.80. Silver, silver, that little rascal. So check this out. Man, silver's a trip, folks, I'm telling you. I'm glad I don't trade silver. Okay, so what does silver do? SI, silver pulls back, has volume on the move back, but it has dramatic, that's still dramatic, well, yeah, it's still 20% lighter volume than what's going into. So silver comes back 43 cents, and that's how it likes to trade. It's up, down 60, 70 cents, does 44,000 contracts. Now the 44 is going into 51. Bottom line, you know, silver's got to hold the 1442 area. That's the area uh, you get down and below that area, you're in a whole different ball game. I suspect it's going to. Uh, why? Because when you actually take a look at uh, many of the gold uh, equities and a few of the silver equities, a few of the silver equities didn't back off at all with silver basically being down. And most of, not most of the gold equities, many of the gold equities look like they're a small ABC structure on the way up. Bonds. Now, bond, the bond market, folks, continues to give us the most clues in the marketplace as to where everything's going here. If we take a look at the 10-year, what you're going to see is this. 10-year, up 26 today, 128. We did volume of 890,000 contracts. It's overall the trading range. The, the, the top of this range right here is 127.24. You're at 128. The low of the spike high on the 24th of August is 128.05. Well, we hit 128.06, we're at 128. That's telling me, guess what? This thing's gonna go for tomorrow. So this is gonna be really wild as it goes for tomorrow. Because on the 10 year, 129.10 is over the highs of April. 
The 30 year, a little bit different, okay? The 30 year, we take a look at this 30 year, what you have with the 30 year, 30 year did 214,000 contracts today, up two points. Closed at the top of the range, so the 30 year is going to go after the 158 level. We're at 155.14 right now. We'll see how it gets into that level. King dollar. So the correlation, of course, if metals want to go higher, if the market wants to basically um, go lower, king dollar, what do we do out here? King dollar today, king dollar goes up 446 ticks, does 30,000 contracts, does not give it up on price. Uh, gets into the downdraft of September 10th, that's where we had 56,000 contracts. So king dollar more than likely is gonna try to get into its swing point of 90, 692. I expect what you're going to see there, folks. That's where the selling intensifies. I expect that's going to get sold at that level. This baby is still building cars for lower price. Pretty amazing watching this whole thing shake out. Now, I'm going to go overseas quickly. Why? Because overseas, folks, we're going to go from here, three and a half hours, Asia is going to open up. Um, Nikkei was closed last night. The world markets, we were down only a percent, percent and a half. Europe was down 3.5% across the board, folks. Japan closed down 276 on EK. That was two nights ago. 13,120. This is going to go after the swing lows tonight. It's going to be really wild watching this shake out, man. Because if you blow away these swing lows from August 24th, August 25th in the Nikkei's place, 12,743. That's just going to wind the whole baby up. And what I mean by winding it up is that if we go over to the UK, UK was down 3% today. You're at 59.35. The low of August 24th is 57.68. That can hit that in a heartbeat. DAX, the DAX in Germany looks like it is absolutely blow away those lows. DAX in Germany was down 377. The low of the 24th is 338 and you're at 577 right now. That also is gonna go after it. You blow that out, that's gonna be a wide gap away for us tomorrow morning. You stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. Dow finished out 179, NASDAQ off 72, S&P's down 31, we're gonna be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow finished down 179, Nasdaq off 72, S&P's off 31. Now let's go over to our man, Mr. Andy Heck. Don't forget, folks, every Tuesday, Thursday, right after my show, Andy has an outstanding show right here at TFNN. You can get all that programming right on your cell phone, tfnn.mobi. And he, Andy has a great newsletter. It's the Technomental Commodity Report. The way you can get that is come to our website at TFNN. You'll see newsletters at the top. You hit newsletters hit trading newsletters, you can test drive his report 30 days, absolutely free. Andy Heck, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you today? I'm doing great, man. How good, you doing? good, good. Yeah. I'm doing good. Um, I was listening to you in the first hour talk about platinum. And yeah. I thought that would be a good place to start out today. That's a great place. Let's start and, out. And I understand what you're saying about the ability to buy platinum coins in this market. However, what my, I have a piece of advice for, for you or for anyone else who wants to buy platinum here. The best way and the most efficient way to buy platinum here is to buy a contract on the New York Mercantile Exchange. It's a small contract, only a 50-ounce contract, and to stand for delivery because then you will get a warrant representing 50 ounces of platinum. Okay. And you can actually take that physical off for costs that are much lower than any of the premiums in the market. So there is a way to effectively buy platinum. Granted, you have to buy 50 ounces. So right. I mean, that's a large quantity. But that is the cheapest and most effective way to buy platinum. And and I'm actually, I'm actually thinking of doing that and actually selling uh, gold against it because I think that at a uh, hundred and eighty eight dollar discount to gold you know it's the spread that's that's really attractive to me here so what I was talking about earlier folks is this platinum is trading out at 936 um, bottom line is that you can't buy platinum anywhere in coins in this country for less than 150 on top of that and you won't get them delivered for eight weeks if you're lucky so uh, right. Yeah. So, so if you do buy the contract, you get a a oh, yeah, no, no, bar I understand, I understand from that. a reputable refinery. I mean, which uh, is which is the most effective way, really, here in this market, because to spend one hundred and fifty dollars over spot is insane. The the difference is it's, it's the difference. Uh, I think is that when you would be selling that back into the marketplace, you wouldn't have a market. Um, I've owned a lot of platinum, so I, I know the physical part of this. Okay, so what happens with the coin? is that the coin is cool because people will buy them. You see what I'm saying? That the, and I understand what you're saying. If you're going to keep it for a long time, great. That's the way to do it. But if you're going to basically, let's say, keep it for two or three hundred bucks and you try to go back to a dealer with it, they're not going to buy it. You know? Oh, so. I understand. But you can just put it back on warrant and sell it on the exchange. You're not going to pay a premium. You're not going to receive a premium for it. I mean, I've owned a lot of physical platinum as well. So, I mean, it's just a way to cut the premium sure, out. Yes, sure. you will get the premium back but if platinum rallies chances are the premium will go lower and the bid offer spread on premiums from you know retail uh, 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 bullion uh, type dealers is always fairly wide that that's the that's the big spread there's no so, doubt there's no right, doubt right so we'll, we'll see you know we'll see what happens but that is an effective way to do it I mean meanwhile you know this thing is twelve dollars off of all-time lows, the discount, and that's just telling us how really ugly uh, the the situation, the economic situation is. I mean, all of these metals, these physical metals. I mean, let's take a quick look at copper here. What that's done, you know, after the Fed left interest rates unchanged last week, uh, I, I thought the most interesting thing about that were the comments from from uh, the 
from Janet Yellen, which basically said that it's uncertainty, and I translated uncertainty into China, and the fact that copper, you know, right after the news rallied up to $2.49 a pound, and here we are today, we were trading below 230 again. So, you know, that really got whacked today. Yeah, well, you know what's intriguing about that? And so, uh, it, it, no doubt, it did. Uh, but I'm, I'm looking at, you know, even when, I, you know, Southern Copper, it's like, this is going to be interesting. So, Southern Copper, folks, has a high volume swing low of 21, uh, 23.41. I, I think it's going to get attacked. But I like the setup, man. It's really wild. Watch and look at look at how this is set up, man. You know? Hey, Southern Copper made money when copper was eighty-five cents a pound. They'll just mine a different grade of ore. Yeah, I like it. That's it. I mean, I like they're, it. they're not going. They're not going anywhere. I mean, copper could go down to two dollars a dollar eighty, and Southern Copper will still find a way to make money. I mean, they're a strong copper producer. They've been around for years. They've seen bull markets. They've seen bear markets, and uh, it's certainly uh, very interesting. But but what I'm seeing today is we're seeing oil down, we're seeing copper down, and we saw lumber made a new low, a new four-year low today. Okay. So the kind of three big industrial commodities here uh, are certainly uh, uh, problematic. You know, they, they're, they're showing us weakness. But we'll have to see what happens in the coming days. And also, the equity market is screaming that. Oh, yeah. Well, the equity market's in a nice little correction. There's no doubt about that, man. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. Now, in oil, which is you, you did have a divergence come come uh, at the end of trading today. You know, you had oil down. Yeah. Oil's down 60 cents on the close. And you do have this WTI Brent spread coming in. It's down at $2.45. I actually think that uh, WTI is going to go to a premium over Brent. Uh, because of the uh, weight of Iranian crude that's going to, you know, come to market. But what you are seeing today is, in a, in a seasonal part of the year where oil products are weak, you're seeing gasoline actually up on the day. You're seeing okay. heating oil up on the day. You're seeing crack spreads uh, up a dollar seventeen on the uh, gasoline crack. That's at twelve thirty three. After being very weak over recent weeks, uh, you're seeing heating oil cracks up eighty cents here. So you know you're getting some divergence within the oil term stru uh, market structure here. So, you know, oil seems to be flirting with this $45 per barrel level. Yeah. I mean, it can go lower, no question. There's so much production around. But as production is going to uh, grow on Brent, it is going to go down in the U.S. because the rig counts dropped again last week. We're down, I think, at 642 rigs. Last, last year, we were at 1,600 rigs. I know, man. Thing is so, taking a beating. Yeah, right. no, I, I can see that. I mean, you know, even today, how that uh, contract was trading, it, it was a little volume, but I can see how that could run to 50 bucks in about a heartbeat. It's, it's going to be intriguing watching this shake out, man. Oh, you it know. can run to 50, it can run to 40, it can run all over the place. The, the, the bottom line on crude oil is I think it's like sitting here and it doesn't know which way to go. <laughs> but, but there's, you know, volatility. If I, let me put a crude oil chart up here because I, I, I think this is pretty interesting uh, uh, metric here. If you look at historical volatility, it's down to 56%. Okay. Uh, on September 2nd, it was 95%. So that's telling us that the daily ranges are coming in, that the variance is lower yeah. on crude oil. And that's interesting because, as you know, that affects option premiums. So sure. option premiums are shrinking here because, you know, we're, we're basically trading either side of 45 here. Um, going to be interesting to watch. The copper today is the one that's kind of sticking out in my mind. Let's just see what the volume looked like on copper today. It was it was uh, bigger than usual. Let's see. Uh, so like copper was down three and a half percent, down eight and a half pennies, folks. Uh, it is what, 68,000. Moderate volume for copper, a little bit bigger than it has been over recent sessions. Yeah. Just couldn't. Couldn't get up above that 250 level, you know that. Uh, and break, and well, breaking that 230, 70 level is a problem too, because that's where it had strength. So copper had some nice strength there, and that wasn't ABC up to 250 and it hit it. So that's going to be right. Interesting, it, hit, it hit just below 30 picks below. So hey, why don't you stay with us a second? We got our man, Mr. Chris Gaffney, the president sure. of the bank, uh, coming on. All right. Absolutely. You stay right there, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. Uh, Dow Industrials finished down 179. NASDAQ down 72, S&P's down 31. We're going to be right back, folks. 
Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank as a member FDIC and equal housing lender. This coming Tuesday, September 22nd, Tom O'Brien will publish the 700th issue of his weekly newsletter, The Gold Report. It's amazing to think that Tom started his newsletter over 13 years ago when gold was trading under $300 an ounce. To celebrate the 700th issue, you can sign up right now at a 20% savings off the regular monthly price, and you can lock in that low rate for as long as you remain a subscriber. The Gold Report is Tom's weekly newsletter covering the gold market as well as a variety of gold mining equities. The Gold Report is published every Tuesday afternoon with a market update sent out to subscribers on Monday mornings. Tom will walk you through what's going on in the gold and metals market each week, as well as providing specific buy and sell recommendation on the mining equities themselves. Now is the perfect time to sign up for the Gold Report. The 700th issue is published Tuesday, and that's when this sale ends, so act now. TFNN has just announced a brand new morning lineup that is geared specifically for traders in this volatile traders market. Every morning at 8 a.m., John Logan starts things off with his daily program, The Global Market Pulse. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesavento trades the market during the market open Monday through Friday on Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom O'Brien hosts the Money Masters for the hour, and Basil Chapman hosts his Tiger Technicians Hour at 11 a.m. From 8 a.m. till noon every market day, these traders are with you as they provide up-to-the-second market information so that you can make the most educated and profitable trades possible. The new TFNN morning lineup is happening right now. Tune in to see for yourself what kind of actionable trading discussion they have each morning, Monday through Friday, starting at 8 a.m., live only on Tiger TV at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow finished down 179, NASDAQ off 72, S&Ps are down 32. We have our man, Mr. Chris Gaffney. Chris, folks, is the president of EverBank World Markets. And, uh, you know, no doubt you've heard him on this uh, program many times. Uh, EverBank right now, it's so cool because the last time Chris was on, we were talking about 100-ounce silver bars. Uh, and bottom line is that uh, they sold out of those uh, babies pretty quick. We're going to be talking today about uh, five blessings, which are, you know, built billion uh, coins. We're going to let uh, Chris walk you through this. Chris Gaffney, how you doing? Doing great, Tom. And before I get into the five blessings, I just want to congratulate you on that 700th issue of your uh, gold report. That's great. Thanks so Shows much. you've been around for a while, huh? Isn't that crazy, man? I mean, <laughs> you, know, you know what's so funny is that I had people come in today, which, the office, which was pretty cool, uh, and uh, one of the guys that came in had got the first gold report. And we were lucky. We got gold at 280, man. And I remember exactly wow. where I was. I know it's crazy, man. It's like, and it was so cool to see some of those tigers out here today. It was really cool, man. So, yeah, we're, well, we're excited about the five blessings. And it's, you know, it's, it's the first time we've had an exclusive um, on, on any of the coins. And, um, you know, timing wise, we, we've got both gold and silver. Yes. It, it's it's a, a coin that's produced by the Royal Canadian Mint. Um, we are the exclusive um, U.S. Uh, distributors of this coin. They're one-ounce coins. That is so um, cool. And uh, really kind of a, um, a pretty good-looking coin. They're a, they're a maple, um, but on the reverse, it has pictures of, of four, um, four animals and then a Chinese symbol that 
that uh, stands for the fifth blessing, which is uh, um, good fortune. So uh, it's it's a it's a unique uh, look. Uh, they did mint them last year. Yes. Um, the 2014 issues. The the last ones we saw were going online at about $125 over spot for the gold ones. We're selling the 2015 issues for $75 over spot, and that that includes shipping. So that's a great deal. Uh, um, and Seventy-five dollars over over spot. The the silver are at seven dollars over spot. And folks, if you've never seen, well, first off, if you've never seen a, a maple leaf, and the maple leaves are so cool because they're I, they're, they're ninety-nine point nine, right? I think, yeah, they're ninety-nine point nine so, uh, gold versus right, uh, ninety-nine point nine nine nine. Yeah, which is so cool because it's a different color, folks. And on the uh, as Chris said, one side you get the maple leaf, and on the other side, now this is what I, I love all this stuff too because when, when you when you're collecting coins anyway, it's so cool. So one of them is a deer for career success. One's a bat, a bat for happiness. I don't know where they got that one. That's a good uh, one, though. I'm not sure either. <laughs> uh, and then, oh, this is a good one. A couple cranes for long life and a magpie for joy, right? You know? Right. And, and uh, again, it's it's a unique coin, um, you know, but it, it, uh, it's really priced closer to where bullion coins are, are being priced. And um, right now, I know you mentioned earlier about the scarcity of, of silver right now in, in platinum uh, yes. coins. You know, the silver coins, we're, we're having trouble getting a hold of any uh, any eagles or maples right now, and, and even the, um, some of them are being deliver, you know, uh, delayed as far as shipment. But we have these coins. They're in position. So, um, you know, the silver uh, five blessings are in position, and we can, uh, we can ship them out. And, folks, the number to call is 855 855- Seven five zero four zero five one, and you know it is so cool because what I had done, Chris, I when I had saw platinum today, right? I'm saying to myself, man, they're killing platinum, man. I got to see. I I know a couple guys that are monsters in this business, right? And the guy I called, he's one of the largest deals in the country, right? He told me flat out, he lives right down the street from me. But bottom line, check this. This is amazing, folks. It was 150 over, and he told me flat, I says, Tom, he says, I'm telling you, it's six to eight weeks, and he says, I might even not get them, okay? So, and yeah. then, and, and in between the, the break, so in between the break, folks, I went over to the Mint, and, you know, years ago, I actually owned 10% of the whole run at the Mint, and that was in 2005. And at the Mint, they're 1350, but guess what? You can't get them. So it's it's so cool that you have them in stock. I mean, because it's one thing putting a price on things, but it's another thing that you can't get them, right? Right, right. And, and again, that's uh, that price is all all in delivered. Uh, um, so we we think it's a great opportunity, um, and especially with these prices down like they are. I mean, I know you know we've been so volatile lately, Tom, and I know you you've been uh, telling people you know it, it's an opportunity, and it really is. Uh, I mean, it's an opportunity to take a position into uh, an asset class that is beaten down, and uh, I think you know if we get any sign of inflation right now, it's you know, it's it's uh, um, there's no real signs of inflation. But as soon as we get any sign of inflation, these commodities are going to start moving back. Well, you know what's so cool is that when Yellen came out and you know said, "Okay, listen, we're not going up," and then start explaining that you know, bottom line, we're gonna we're worrying about China and worrying about Europe. I just said to myself, "Oh my God, they not only blinked, they they blinked. I mean, if they're worrying about the rest of the world, right, we're not going to be going up." I, I figure next June, if that. I mean, it's like, okay, that's going to give metals a chance to run. That's, I mean, you know, they, they, they want inflation to catch on because they're, they're worrying that uh, the deflation being brought out of China is serious business, you know? Absolutely. Deflation is the bigger worry right now. And they're going to let, they're going to, um, as, as you know, um, they're going to uh, err to the side of, of higher inflation. And, and in fact, um, that's what the central bankers want right now is they want to see inflation. So, you know, you've got them actually going out there and trying to create inflation, which, of course, is great if you're, uh, if you're holding hard assets. No, there's no doubt. We got our man, Mr. Andy Heck, with us, too, and he's going to be uh, doing the commodity hour, of course, the next hour, Chris. Hey, Chris, how are you? I, one thing I think is great about these seven blessing coins is the, the potential for real numismatic value. I mean, one thing I heard you said is that the 2014 series is trading at $125 premium over spot now. And, um, you know, I, I always 
love these coins from from a, a numismatic uh, a point of view. So it's not you, you get kind of a that kicker in there as as well as the uh, the precious metals value of the of That's, the coin. Yeah, and, and we typically, Andy, don't as you know, we we typically don't don't get into the numismatics, and and this was just an opportunity that was presented to us, and and it had that. As you say, the extra little kicker of, of some numismatic value or possible numismatic value. And, yeah, the last time we saw, we, we've been monitoring them, obviously, since, uh, since we got this exclusive. And the last ones we saw traded online were, were trading the cheapest we could find them was 125 over spot. So, you know, we, we, uh, we feel these are very, uh, very well priced. And, and uh, we've already sold a lot of the gold. We, we've, uh, um, like I said, we've, we've got some silver. It's a limited quantity, um, so um, you know that makes them even more um, attractive, if you will, because uh, it's not something that's just going to be overproduced. And folks, the phone number is eight five five seven five zero four zero five one. And folks, what's so cool is this: if you want to own coins, you have EverBank, trusted source, huge trusted source. Bottom line. Give them a call, 855-750-4051, and just ask for you know, a market specialist. They'll walk you through it. It's a beautiful thing. Chris Gaffney, it's always a pleasure, brother. Thank you so you much. We look forward to having you on again. Congrats again, and, and good talking to you, Andy. Take care. Okay. Nice take talk right. to you, Chris. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Andy, can you stay right there, please? Absolutely. We'll keep you going, man. See, oh, my keep God. You have to talk for another hour. You got to nah, love it. No problem. This is Andy you do Heck. it for two every day. That's <laughs> it. Andy Heck, Tom O'Brien. Uh, Everbank's phone number again, folks, is 855-750-4051. $75 over spot for the gold silver, for the gold coins. $7 over spot all in, meaning you get delivered to your house, folks. We're coming right back. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now you can get a two week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, the opening call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. 
Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. And folks, if you uh, don't forget, it is the 700th edition of the Gold Report today. Uh, if you want to test drive that for a month, you can do it absolutely free. Um, we had a special that's going on this week. It ends tonight. You can save 20% on a monthly basis for as long as you get it. So check it out on the front page of TFNN. We're talking with our man, Mr. Andy Heck. We are talking commodities. Talk to me about these grains, Andy. Oh, not much going on there. I mean, they're, they're down near lows here. You know, it's like the summer's over. It's harvest time. Okay. October is right around the corner. We had soybeans down at 860 today, corn around 380, both on the new crop contracts. Wheat's the only one that's kind of got me real interested here okay. because of the fact that wheat is produced all over the world and, and the fact that El Nino could cause some problems for wheat. But we have to wait a month or so. I think we're going to trade in, in pretty narrow range. And, and perhaps, you know, when, when we got start thinking about the Brazilian uh, soybean crop, maybe we'll get some action back so in that I, market. So, oh, this is a good, this is, I got to hear this. Okay, so check this out. Yeah, you know, so, uh, folks, Brazil's on sale. You want a vacation, go to Brazil. The, the real's never been this low. 4.39 <laughs> to the dollar, okay? So how is this going to, uh, so those farmers should probably make money on soybeans because they're going to get U.S. Yes. dollars, but they'll probably yes. print as many as they can, right? Yes, exactly. And the labor costs are down and the, yeah. I mean, you know, this is, this is a, a classic so currency a situation. Yeah. Right. But you're having the same thing. Look at the Australian dollar. It's down from a dollar to 70 cents. Canadian dollar down from a dollar to 75 cents. The Brazilian real, even worse. The Russian ruble, forget it. It's half in value. These are the major commodity producers around the world. Yeah. So this is a reason that, the, you know, this strong dollar weighs heavily on these commodity prices along with uh with the fact that the biggest customer in the world china and their president is there here this week he arrived today along with the pope arriving today um you know we th this weighs so heavily on this whole commodity sector and i you know copper lumber oil they're all telling me today it doesn't look good you know you have industrial metal like so platinum. Want, it's interesting with the lumber one though so the lumber where who's using the most lumber is that well china lumber too? Is the, it's the u.s housing market but it is it is definitely china you know i yeah. mean china is a factor in the lumber market for infrastructure building i'm just going to try to put a chart up here what's for the you. symbol on lumber i don't have lumber. lb lb lb, LB. And, and it's the trading is terrible. It's like less liquid than orange juice. And Tom, you you know how li yeah, no, how no. illiquid orange juice right. is. Right. Uh, but but lumber is and lumber has just been decimated here. And uh, we're trading at the lowest level since December 2011. Listen, we were back in uh, I think it was May. Let's take a look. Back in all. Um, let me take a look here. Back in July, lumber was up almost 300 in june it was 300 dollars per thousand foot board per board yeah okay and today lumber is 224 that's an enormous move yeah that is no there's no doubt man that's right it. right so and that's an industrial you know i don't trade lumber i think you have to you yeah know, no lumber no is it, tough. it's right but i watch it i wa it's kind of one of those kind of indicators that yeah. are really helpful and it's telling us you know that hey things are things are rough and i think you're right the fed you know the fed basically cried uncle in uh, Yellen's comments, I know. she said, hey, you know, things are not, and they want 2% inflation, but they're not going to get it with oil at $45 a barrel and all these other commodities That's so right. low. Unless, well, and this is what ends up happening. This is what gets pretty wild, folks, unless there's a shock. If there's a shock, you know, we're, we're what the, yes. core, the core is at 1.8 right now. So that with, if, if oil does shock us, folks, and go up $20, $30, that core will jump. You know, which right. is pretty wild. So right, but the only reason that oil is going to do that at this time is something really bad. But, oh no, no, I understand. I'm not. I'm not just. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. So, so it's it's a it's really a difficult uh, uh, market for raw materials, and you see that Glencore actually became a penny stock in London today. Did it? Yeah, it dropped uh, uh, pretty hard, and uh, they're wow, thinking of downgrading intense. them. 
This is intense. I mean, they're the biggest uh, in the world in terms of putting together the production and the trading. Look at that. I'm so, going to bring it up right now. Man, it was down 10% today. Yes, yes. Very ugly. And, you know, they they suspended their dividend uh, about a week and a half ago. They, they, and these, uh, are, these are, you can arguably say, some of the smartest guys in the business. These are the best in the business. But yeah. you know what? When you when you own production capability yeah. and, the, and you're in a bear market, it's it's painful and, and it, it's a painful and the, period and what happens folks and this is what this is the terrible part about being something that's illiquid you can't get out <laughs> right they, they own oh, the production. we call it the roach if, motel yeah what happens folks is that the, the, this is a you know when you own a an asset that you know is not cash or metals that you can get out in a heartbeat it's a problem because you want out and you can't get out. Yeah, oh man. Exactly. And they bought Estrada, which was a major yeah. producer, and they spent billions at the to highs. buy Estrada. They at bought the it at the highs. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. know, what? I mean, how the heck do all these companies buy everyone at the highs? And they always do it. I mean, you know, that's how it always seems, right? Yeah, no one buys anyone at the lows. Everyone's bullish at the highs. You know that. And everyone's bearish at the lows. What a trip, right? Unreal. It is a trip. It's an amazing thing. And, you know, you look at the prices. I mean, to me, I, I, it, it, my, I'm a victim of my own years in this business. So when I look at copper yeah. at 230, which is exactly half the price that it was in 2011, yeah. you know, and I say to myself, is it cheap or is it expensive? I think back to the 1980s and 1990s where copper traded 80 cents to a dollar, 80 cents to a dollar. That's that's all it did. And I say to myself, it's really not that cheap. <laughs> you know, and you may or may not had, had known, you know, we used to, Ed Young used to always do a show here, a great guy. And I remember folks, and I'm sure many of you do too, you know, down in, in the 90s, you know, 2003, four, you know, cop is still trading at 70 to 80 cents, right? And I remember that first run, man, and we were just saying, oh, my God, you got to be kidding me. Because right. cop, copper folks ran from 70 cents in 03 nonstop up to 365. Right. You know? That was insanity. That, and that was the beginning of the Super Bowl in China. Right. You know, right. Yeah. The Super Bowl that took everything higher. Yeah. Everything yeah. went right. with it. Even the commodities where the fundamentals weren't strong went with it. So, you know, that kind of bubble burst in 2011. And now we're still in, you well, know, even in 2007 that. it burst. It came all the way. Yeah, but yeah. it came all the way back. It did, that's crazy, it man. It did. It came all the way it's, back. I mean, 2011 is when gold made highs, silver made yeah. highs, copper made highs, cocoa made highs. I mean, you look at everything the prices were so pumped and now you know it, it, it the problem is I keep going back to like 2000 or so and looking at where the prices were I don't think we're going back to those prices but they do tell me that there is downside it's not like you know we're at these terrible no, no, prices I, 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 and, I, I, yeah right and these producers like Glencore what they started doing is they started buying just higher cost production yeah higher cost production and now, hey, the dollar's helping in some places, and certainly lower oil prices help because energy is a huge cost input when you produce oh, commodities. There's, no, there's but, no doubt. But, you know, hey, if the biggest buyer in the world, China, ain't buying as much, then inventories are going to build and prices will go lower, and companies like Glencore are going to have a lot more problems. That's why I say I don't understand why these commodity companies, a lot of them, the oil companies and all, continue to pay dividends. It makes no sense to me. They need to build a war chest. Yeah, it's not over till it's over, and we know it that ain't over till it's they're over. They're paying dividends, so it's not over. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's I agree. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the bottom line. When they stop paying dividends, then maybe we'll I, see a bottom. I'm with you. Hey, listen, I never forget. You know, folks, at the bottom of the commodity market, Merrill Lynch had one of the best commodity desks there is, and they closed it. They closed yeah. it when gold was 280. That, it was like, oh, my that's God. That's the sign. And can I have to read it all the time? Cook and brother, we look forward to the show in 10 minutes. Thanks, Andy. Thanks. See you okay. soon. Stay right there, folks. Uh, I'm coming right back. Wrap it up, and Andy's going to be coming right up. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date, accurate, 
active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of tfnn.com under trading newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. For more information, email tigerfund at tfnn.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the tfnn.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. Join Andy Hecht as he shows you how to make money in commodities. The Commodities Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. And don't forget, folks, if you would like to test drive the gold report, this is the time to do it because uh, at the end of tonight, uh, you can't get the 20% off per month. You can test drive it one month absolutely free. Uh, now, the NFL, this is pretty cool, folks. The NFL, the National Football League, can use drones to shoot films, documentaries, and television segments. They're not allowing them to use uh, the drones to go uh, live, folks, okay? But uh, check this out. The exemption, which includes, what, which precludes filming games, uh, comes three months after the FAA said it was probing the NFL teams, including the Dallas Cowboys and New York Giants, for the use of drones. Um, in a September 17th letter, the FAA granted the league's NFL films permission to use drones with several conditions. It's pretty wild, though. Check this out, man. Drones must be, weigh less than 55 pounds, including the payload, fly no more than 400 feet and above ground. And this is the thing that's really wild. They're going to let them travel 100 miles per hour, man. I'd hate to get hit by a drone going 100 miles an hour. Uh, bottom line is that the NFL will use this um, uh, you know, basically to uh, emphasize the, the sport power, the passing, the, the tackling, all of the above. It's, it's going to be intriguing because there's no doubt if you do watch the NFL um, film-wise, live film-wise, that is too, is that uh, they've been phenomenal on how they can film and put you right in the game, okay? There, there's no two ways about that. Um, Market-wise out here, folks, this is what you have. So volume, what we did is this. On the NYSE, we did volume of 962 million versus 821. On the, on the NASDAQ, we come in with, NASDAQ come in with uh, 2 billion versus 2 billion of yesterday. What you're gonna see out here tonight is that the Nikkei was closed last night. What I expect you're gonna see with the type of market that Europe had and we had, uh, Europe in particular, Europe was down 3.5% uh, across the board. Um, Nikkei low was down 362 bucks. The last day it was opened because they're going to open tonight. That's going to go right after the swing low of 17,717. We'll see whether it takes it out. Um, it's it's going to be very easy to take it out. That's 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 the bottom line. 
That being said, we, you go from Asia and you go over to the UK tomorrow morning, uh, UK's a disaster. The FTSE 100 was down 172 bucks today. The low is 57.68. Right now, you're only 150 buck points away from it. We're down 172. That's going to go out. My take is that we're going to gap into it, probably blow that away in Europe. The DAX in Germany, the same setup. The DAX in Germany, the low is 93.38, which gets you 250 down. It was down 377 today. You had juice behind the move. This thing is going to blow away that low tomorrow. And if that's what you get, if we blow away those lows inside the FTSE, inside the DAX, what you can expect is that you very well could have another limit down uh, open. And that's, that'll be really wild if we ever get another limit down open this close to the last one. So August 24th was the first limit down open that we had since uh, 2007, 2008. And it was only the NASDAQ uh, NDX futures that actually did it. Uh, the cash S&P is at 1942. That's already $23 into that August 24th level. You know, so your probability gets a lot higher. It particularly gets higher um, if, in fact, they, the European markets blow those lows out. They, they'll blow, they, they blow those lows out just to get out of the way because you very well could, and this is where the thing is going to be absolutely wild. The, the first downdraft, this downdraft that was created out here in August, folks, was fast, furious, all of the above. I mean, you, you, you went from a, um, an S&P number of, uh, what, 2080, I believe. Is it 2080? 2096. You went from 2096 down to 1867 in four days. Big number. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Everything you need is right inside you. Grab it and have a blast with it. Stay right there. I'm Mr. Andy Hex coming up next. If you're listening to your car, just go to tfnn.mobi on your cell phone. Get Andy right now. Wow! Go get him, folks.